In what has been called his last will and testament, Paul, the prolific writer and devoted evangelist, charges his spiritual son Timothy to preach the word, 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. The word, also known as the Holy Scriptures, contains no ordinary message. Consider 2 Timothy 3, verse 15. It is inspired by God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man or woman of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3, verses 16 and 17. Just as Paul pointed Timothy to the Holy Scriptures, so we are admonished to walk in the light of God's Word, for it is a lamp for our feet and a light for our path. Psalm 119, verse 105. God, the author of time and eternity, cooperated with willing men to convey his instruction to us in stories, prophecies, poems, songs, prayers, customs, and letters. These men wrote at different times in history, but their combined compositions reveal a clear focus and point our hearts upward from the written word to the living word, who is Jesus Christ. Indeed, the scriptures were written to testify of Jesus Christ, John 5, verse 39. And they reveal God's character, his love for humanity, his plan of salvation, his principles for living, and the promise of his soon return. The Bible provides perspective for our times. In light of pervasive human suffering, threats of nuclear war, racism, bigotry, and social injustice, it seems the love of most, as Matthew 24 and verse 12 says, is growing cold. But we have the prophetic word more fully confirmed, to which you will do well to pay attention as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. 2 Peter 1 verse 19. Today, friend, spend time with God and his love letter. He wrote it just for you.